Yeah, I'm, I'm adjusting my shorts right now for the camera, Pete, just so people know I'm a fan. Um, this is going to be a bit more of a controversial topic, and I know you're going to say some stuff on this one. Show off them thighs. All about them uh, thigh sports stuff. I don't know why. Whenever we do these, I wear the shortest shorts possible. It gets pointed out to you, and it's like you take it as a challenge to find a shorter and shorter short. <laughs> you imagine by, like, episode 16, I'm just wearing freaking... You're wearing, like, the Borat, like, V-sling thong? <laughs> What's up, guys? But anyway, you know, definitely a great topic to talk about, and I want to I want to keep on prefacing. There's no hard feelings here, and certainly if me and Pete had the choice to talk about a six-year-old versus an adult doing the same thing, we would much prefer to be talking about someone of age. We're not targeting a six-year-old. It's just a great debate to be having in esports and gaming right now for a large variety of reasons. So please, don't direct hate either which way. If you're going to direct hate, you know, direct it on us, right? Not the family or not the people we're talking about. Of course, we're talking about Rowdy Rogan, the six-year-old who has now gone viral uh, in the phase five challenge uh, the recruitment process now down to a final 20 and broken this last week is in fact he actually did fake a war zone ban as a part of that phase five submission that next step has been confirmed to have a video go viral now why it's controversial is because he is just six years old obviously backed and helped out by his parents as part of his team and as these other top 20 finalists try and you know make it to the next step what are you willing to do to make it into FaZe Clan and should FaZe Clan be taking someone who has to fake something like this to get into the organization. It's it's a it's a tough thing to talk about. It's wild just to think of the idea of a six year old in FaZe Clan at all. Just given how like FaZe Clan is, just given like what FaZe Clan is known for. But it's also man, it feels more and more and I hate to say it because I don't like I respect this like little guy's hustle. But uh this really feels like Rowdy Rogan's dad's chance to get into Face Clan, and it's pretty much he's, he's. It feels like, you know, Rowdy Rogan. If this works, and to be fair, it is the most Phase thing you could possibly do. It is very much like he's oh, work for Phase Jarvis. I'm gonna do it, and I'll, I'll fake my band video. But this really feels like Rogan's dad being like, yeah, my son, my air quotes, my son is in Phase Clan. And like you go to his house and like you open the closet door and there's like a, a shrine to Banks in the dad's room and there's just face camo outfits everywhere. You know, this is why I think we wanted to start this series because there's things that you will say that I will not. Um, but I think we can both recognize them as fair points to make because we've just let's let's be frank, right? When we started 2020, we didn't realize we'd be talking about this topic at any point this year or any point in the future. And it's just a wild time to be alive. You know, 2020 has been crazy enough. And now we have potentially a six year old and a nine year old uh, in this phase recruitment challenge who could be part of one of the biggest, if not the biggest entertainment organization in the entire world. And I certainly think it's fair to bring to light that this is interesting, right? If you're a parent and you have a six year old kid, you're leading him in this direction. I think that's a fair question and some people will hate on us for bringing it up and I like to think that we're a bit more real and we can just open the discussion and really talk about those things because it's it's wild. Yeah, and I mean, that's the whole point is there's some things that like that uh, you will do that I won't do like wear that hat because it's you look like you're going on a fishing trip with your grandfather as soon as we're done with this video. But it's like it's it is just a, you have to bring it up because I feel like it's uh, everyone kind of has that suspicion at least that that's kind of what's going on with Rowdy Rogan. But it's also like, you can't blame the kid. And like, look no, at no, all no, the yeah. things FaZe has done. Let's, let's play the other side yeah. though. Yeah. I look mean, at all the things. Like, so FaZe is pushing for their FaZe cinematic universe. Like they're really trying to like make all these content creators. And if you see that and you're a six year old, like that's got, I mean, even if like the stuff may not be the highest quality, it's everywhere. Like it, like the phase five thing is gigantic. It's a, it's, it's How a, do you not want to be a part of that? It's literally a dream for a lot of kids. And so, yeah, we're going to play both sides here. The reverse side of that, I mean, you're doing what a lot of other kids can't do, are not willing to do. And so if that's what it takes to make it into FaZe Clan, then all be it, all the more power to you. FaZe just puts themselves in now a really weird spot where you're going to make someone make a viral video. You're going to see what they're willing to do to do that. I'll end on this, though, because there's so many great finalists in there, and I know I don't mention them enough. Um, but one that's been really propped up is a guy like Neo, who, by the way, at the point of us recording, had a trick, an actual clip, you know, not faked or anything. And I believe it's about to break the viewership that that same clip Rowdy Rogan did. So it's really, really cool to see that legitimate skill as well as also being recognized. And you can go viral for anything nowadays, right? It can be true skill. It can be a creative idea like Rowdy Rogan's. It can be incredibly short shorts. <laughs> 
<laughs> it could be a really dumb hat. It could be a lot of stuff. Yeah, you never know. And so I guess at the end of all of this, we're going to see what FaZe Clan sees a future in, you know, what they want themselves as an organization. And I'm glad we can talk about it because they're the ones that are in the tricky shoes when it comes time for choosing the actual Phase 5. So um, Phase Clan is certainly in a tricky situation. And as per usual, they're making headlines with all of this stuff. So uh, we'll catch you guys back here next time. Of course, leave your thoughts down below. What do you think about Phase Clan's potential recruits and who deserves it most?